Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use the Desmos matrix calculator to solve this system of equations. Uh, if you don't know how to find the Desmos matrix calculator, you can just type in a Google search for the Desmos matrix, matrix calculator and the first link will be there. I also link, put a link in the top of today's assignment. <clears throat> so if you don't have a graphing calculator at home, no problem. Use the Desmos matrix calculator. Okay, so here on the left side of the screen, you see a um, three equations written out there um, that could be typical for what you see for your homework tonight. So we have three equations and we have three unknowns. We don't know A, we don't know B, we don't know C. So we can solve that by hand uh, using a system of equations and elimination, um, which would probably take quite a while to do, but let's go ahead and use our calculator. So you can see that I've already written it as an augmented three by four matrix, where I've just used the coefficients of each variable and the constants on the right. And so what we're gonna do is go into our Desmos calculator and tap new matrix or enter new matrix, and let's make this a three row by four column matrix, and then let's enter all of our values. So to go from value to value, it's just type in six, right arrow, two, right, one, negative 40. Just keep tapping right as you enter each value. 34, 5, negative 5, 1, negative 50. I'm just going to double check that my matrix is correct. So I'm going to read just across the top 6, 2, 1, negative 40, okay. 5, 3, 1, negative 34, and 5, negative 5, 1, negative 50. And you want to make sure that you enter it right because if you enter just one value wrong, it is going to throw off the entire answer. Okay, so you've entered your matrix and you're happy with it. Just tap enter. Okay, and so we're going to take our augmented matrix and have the calculator put in reduced row echelon form. So we're going to tap RREF, and then we're going to enter matrix A, which is the matrix that we just entered. And you can see that it equals the values at the right. So let's write that down. So we have in row 1, 1, 0, 0, negative 4. And in row two, zero, one, zero, and two, and row three, zero, zero, one, negative 20. <clears throat> and that's supposed to happen. You're supposed to get that diagonal set of ones and everything else zeroed out. And so this is 1a plus 0b plus 0c equals negative 4. So a equals negative 4. And you saw me do this today. So 0a plus 1b plus 1c equals 2. So b equals 2. And 0a's plus 0b's plus 1c equals uh, negative 20. And that's how you're going to use your Desmos uh, matrix calculator to help you with your homework. Have a great day.